Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. In the Caribbean, we love ground provisions. We love things like edels, sweet potatoes, yams, breadfruit, Irish potatoes. We just love these things. In Barbados, where I'm from, we make a phenomenal Bayesian soup. On a Saturday, or it could be made during the week as well, to me, use ground provisions in this soup. I've also lived in St. Kitts as well, too, and they make a phenomenal ground provision soup as well, too. So we love ground provisions, or we love to eat ground provisions by themselves. So today I want to make for you a really delicious ground provisions dish you can do on a Saturday, which is a day like today. Very simple, very, very simple, nothing at all complicated. And we're going to serve it with some pickled vegetables. So we're going to head out now to the Castry Central Market in St. Lucia. And we're going to pick up a few things from the vendors down there. And we're going to come back home. And I'm going to produce for you this amazing dish, which I am sure you will enjoy as well when you make it. So I'm going to leave now and I'm gonna head right back here in a few hours. I'll see you in, Cent in, in Castry Central Market. So I'm back from the Castries Central Market. I had a fantastic time. I love going to any market and I love going to the Castries Market early on a Saturday morning. Everything is so fresh and I love to go like around six o'clock. I don't really go like around 10 or 11. I think that's a little too late. The sun is too hot. But when you go early, all the vegetables are nice and fresh. The air is fresh, lots of people. It's such a wonderful time to chat with the vendors. So I had a really great time. I was able to pick up the sweet potato and I also picked up as well two, I have two different colors. I have a white and I have kind of a reddish one here, but the instead of the reddish one is also white. And I was able also to get the dashin as well too, so I have that. So we're gonna roast these vegetables now because we're doing roasted vegetables and we're gonna make a really lovely scotch bonnet butter. And we're gonna serve it with some pickled vegetables. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I will take each one of my uh, uh, root vegetables. I'm gonna toss them with a bit of olive oil, not well, olive oil and also salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna place them into a pan and roast them off in the oven. So let's start first with this sweet potato right here. I put this one right here, just a bit of oil on it. And then what we're gonna do now 
is we're going to take some salt, some salt on it, and we also take some black pepper as well too, black pepper on top of it. So just make sure, I'm just going to use one hand to rub it in because I don't want to get the other hand wet because I'm using, I'm sprinkling with the salt and pepper. So I put salt and pepper because they're going to leave on the skin. And I want that when it's finished, the skin also has flavor as well too. So let's put on a bit more pepper on top of there. And I put a bit more salt. That's lovely. So just gonna wrap this one up now in foil. And you're more than welcome to, if you wanted, you can roast this on a grill. But I find it easier just to pop this in the oven and to roast these off in the oven. Let's do the next sweet potato. So a bit of oil again on the sweet potato. Enough to coat it well. Then we're gonna put on some black pepper. And then we put on some salt as well too. Okay, so all this is on. And then of course, what we do is we wrap this up in our foil. And we have the last one, the dashin. So we're gonna put some oil on here again. And again, as I mentioned at the start of this little cooking show, we Caribbean people, we love vegetables. So uh, this is just another way of doing it by roasting it. And it's a very simple way of doing it, but it's also a very tasty way as well too. But I hope that you can try this at home as well. So just roll that up. And what I will do now is I'm gonna go ahead now and pop this in the oven. And this should probably take at least about one hour to roast. And then after that, we're gonna start to put some butter on them and have our pickle veg rest ready and we're gonna consume this lovely roasted vegetables with pickled vegetables. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven now. So we have our ground provisions in the oven roasting. So what we're gonna do now is to go ahead and make the pickled carrots and cabbage. And once that's made, we're gonna combine the butter here with, we have some garlic, we have some scotch bonnet pepper and some scallions. And I also have a bit of cinnamon as well too. We're gonna to add to that just to make kind of like an herb butter to put on our roasted provisions once they come up from the oven. So let's get started first with our pickled vegetables. It's very simple to make pickled vegetables. You just need a bit of vinegar, which is what I have here. So you just need some white vinegar. So you pour this into this pot. And then we need some water to kind of reduce the acidity of the vinegar because you know vinegar is very acidic. And of course, I like to add a little sweetness, so I'm gonna add a bit of granulated sugar. If you don't have granulated sugar, you can always use uh, the brown sugar. And then I add a bit of salt as well too. That also helps improve the flavor. And then I normally use a few dry spices. So I use some cinnamon stick. I also use some stir anise. I have here some black peppercorns some whole cloves, and I have some red pepper flakes. You can also use, if you want, if you have cardamom pods, you can use some. I actually was gonna pick up some, but cardamom pods are very expensive. So I tend to be on a budget these days. So we're gonna go ahead and light the stove. Let me grab the lighter. So let's light up the stove. And all we do, basically, is we put, we're just gonna stir this up a bit, just to, mix the sugar and the salt into the liquid, but it will really dissolve once we put it on the stove and heat it up. So let's go ahead and I'll put this on the stove. And I'll just put a lid on that so it comes to a bowl faster. And what we will do now is we'll take, I have a jar. Now, I didn't have a pickling jar, but what I want to mention too, I had some chips the other night and I had some salsa which I purchased from the supermarket. So I pretty much am using about the same bottle which you can use. I actually have bought have some Tostitos, and I had a sauce inside here. So basically, you can use these jars up for these kind of pickling things as well, so you don't have to go to expense yourself. So I'm gonna add some carrots in here first. So let's add these carrots. And basically, I slice the carrots, nice and, uh, nice and thin. I sliced it with my knife, basically, so I just sliced it. I peeled it first and sliced it, and got these nice, uh, circles of carrots or rondelles as you will call them and I did the same thing to the cabbage as well too. I took the core of the cabbage and I sliced it with my knife as well too and I sliced it as thin as, as thin as I could I could probably slice it thinner but I didn't want it to be too thin 
And then I'm just going to add these now into this jar. And what we will do is once the pickling mix is ready, we're going to go ahead and pour the hot mix over here, cover it, let it cool, and then we put it in the refrigerator overnight. And that's our pickled vegetables. So I'm just going to rest this to a side. Now what I want to do now while we're waiting on that, I have some softened salted butter. I'm using salted butter because of the flavor of the salt as well. So I, want it. I don't want to use unsalted butter. Normally I use unsalted butter, but in this case I'm using some salted butter. So to here now I'm going to add my garlic, which I pretty much peeled. I took the, um, there's a green inside part out maybe, and I took that out and I also minced it. Then I also have some scotch bonnet pepper. If you can't get scotch bonnet, you can use some seasoning pepper as well too, but that has some good flavor. And I have here some scallions. What you could add here as well too, is you could add some ginger here as well too. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon powder to this. Not a lot. You know, as I said in a previous video, you can always add, but you certainly can't take out. So if you over add something, you really can't take it out. So we're gonna mix this all up. And then once our potatoes come out, I'm gonna just put a bit of this on top of our potatoes, which will give it dynamic flavor. And then I will also put some of the pickled veg as well, which we're making. So all we want to do here is just to uh, heat this up, bring it to a boil, and then turn it right off. You don't need to boil or anything of that nature. That's our pickling liquid, and then we're gonna pour it right into our jar here. So what I want to do is I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Just a little bit more. And I think that that should be enough. I just mix this all in. Okay, so I think we have it here. I think our butter mixture is finished. And also, our pickle mixture has come to a boil, so I'm gonna turn it off. So that means our granulated sugar and our salt has dissolved. And then what I will do is I will take our pickle or carrots as well as our cabbage and I'm going to now pour this mixture right over here so just pour it until it's covering that's it so then what we do now is we just take a jar I mean a lid actually not a jar because it's already in a jar we take a lid and we just cover it and that's how we make pickle veg, very simple. Nothing complicated. I will have the recipe as well to the description below for you so you can reproduce this at home. And you allow this to cool. Once it's cooled, you refrigerate it. You keep in the refrigerator all the time and as you have anything, it's at breakfast or morning, so whatever you want to have it with, some salt fish, some um, sardines, some red herring, whatever you want to have it with, you just take a bit of pickle veg out and you eat it and it's really tasty. So that's our pickle veg. So. What I like to do now, we're going to go ahead now and we're going to take now from the oven. Let's check all our potatoes. And we're going to take these from the oven now. Let's push this to the back. And these here, I believe, are finished. So I'll take a small one here, which is this one. This is our sweet potato. Wow, it's hot very hot <laughs> so just be very careful so we're going to open this up now this package and you have to be very careful opening the package as well too because you don't want steam to come out and burn your fingers as well so this is to tell if it's finished you can take a, a toothpick or a skewer or you can take your knife and just push it right away through so this is all finished so that's uh, should I should put it on the cutting board that's that one and let's take a bit of the, well, let's cut this one first. So what are we gonna do? I leave on the skin and everything because remember we seasoned it. So we're just gonna go right through. And the skin is nice and crispy as well too. Wow, this is nice. Lovely, this is lovely. So just cut down into, just gonna arrange it right here on this plate. I'll do it so you can see some of the skin side as well. And then let's take a bit of the dashin. Let's check the dashin out. It's looking lovely. So 
So again, we're taking this out very carefully. Again, take our paring knife or skewer or uh, we push the knife through and it's, we can see it's cooked. With the dashi now, we just take this out of here. Rest it on our cutting board. And what we're gonna do now is just go ahead. I want, this one we're gonna have to peel a bit. So I'm just gonna cut off a bit of this, but it looks lovely. It's very hot, very, very hot. So use your tongs. Good. Great, that's nice. Let's put this back in here. It smells delicious as well too, it really smells nice. Uh, I just got a smell there like if it was roasted chicken. This is a good vegetarian dish actually. So I'm just gonna peel off some of the skin because this skin is not really that edible. Good. So that's our dashin. Just cut this in half. Good. Just always clean as you go. So I just clear this away. Good. So that's our dashin there. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to take some of this beautiful butter. It's nice and hot right now. And we're going to just put some of this butter right on top of here. So this butter here will melt. All this will melt. Let's take a bit more. Good. And then what we will do, I'm gonna get a spoon so we can take some of the pickle veg we made. Let's get a spoon here. So what we do now is we take some of this pickle veg now this pickle veg, as I said, we should make the day before and let it cool. But we're taking some of this here already hot. This is lovely. We're just gonna put some of this pickle veg on top of here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And so tasty. Okay, we cover this lid back. And now the test is to taste, the test, or they say the proof is in the pudding. So we're gonna taste this dish now. Let's taste this, let's get a fork. I'm gonna have to get in my drawer and get a fork. Okay, so I have a fork. And let's now go ahead and taste this dish. So I wanna taste some of the sweet potato, some of the sweet potato. I'm gonna put some of this butter on it. Just bring it right here. So I'm gonna taste some of the sweet potato. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the pickled cabbage on top of that. And taste this here. This looks delicious. Some butter. Mmm. That is so delicious. That is phenomenally Delicious. I have the <coughs> sweetness of the sweet potato, and then I have the tart of the actual pickled veg, which is so delicious. Mm. Let's try now the dashing. That went in really well. A little bit of pickled carrot there with it. Let's just mix this up. Now we're gonna try this here. That is outstanding. So there you have it, another way to use provisions. Just bake them in the oven. Of course I wash them, season the skin with salt, oil the skin, season with salt and pepper, bake them in the oven for at least one hour. We made a pickle. You can use any vegetables in your pickle as well. I use carrots and cabbage, but you can use red bell pepper. You can also use seasoning peppers. You can use red onions, any type of vegetables you can get a hold of. Cucumbers are perfect as well too. And then we made a compound butter. Basically we had some butter with some scallions, some scotch bonnet pepper, some garlic. You can add ginger here as well to me as a cinnamon for sweetness. And we came up with the most amazing phenomenal dish. So there you have it. Roasted vegetables with pickled uh, vegetables. 
and a kampong butter, herb kampong butter. So if you've enjoyed today's show, please go ahead and like and subscribe and ring the bell. And again, my name is John Hazard and I will see you on the next show. And for me, it's all about food.